the website, you can just generally come to earn Forex. And then when you come here, you can go to Forex tools. You can hover on down to position size calculator. And on this page, they do have one on the page, but what you're gonna do is scroll down and you're gonna come down here to this sentence. This calculator is also available as a downloadable MetaTrader expert advisor. You're gonna click on that link and then you're gonna be here on this page. When you're on this page, you're gonna look at this contents column over here and you're gonna click on downloads. It'll go ahead and fast forward you down to the middle of the page where you can go ahead and select which iteration of MT4 or MT5 that you're using. So I'm trading on five, so I'm going to click this position size calculator. You're going to click it. I advise switching to your desktop folder so it's nice and easy to find. I have a window, so this is where I'm sticking it. So I've already downloaded this, and when you download it, it's going to be a zip folder named position sizer. So you're just going to make sure you download that. I already have it. So I'm going to hit cancel. Once you have that, we're going to come to your desktop. Let me show my desktop. So once you're on your desktop, just locate that folder, grab it so you know where it is. I'm going to open that folder up and unzip it. And then inside of it is sitting a folder named position sizer. Down inside of this folder, he has all the things that you need in here to go ahead and get the calculator installed correctly. So what you're going to do now, you're going to open your trading terminal. I have a demo account in here fresh demo account. When you open up your MT5, right? When you come here, you're gonna to wanna to come down to file on Windows. Jaleesi is also gonna do an Apple portion um, at a later date. You're gonna hit open data folder. This is where you're gonna drop any file folders for any indicators, expert advisors, or anything that you wanna to install to your MT5. When you hit open data folder, it should open a brand new window for you. When you're in here, depending on the version of MetaTrader that you're using, four or five, this is either going to say MQL4 or MQL5. That stands for MetaQuotes Language and then the version that you're using. When you're using MetaQuotes Language 5, for example, you're going to go ahead and go down into that folder. And then this is going to be an expert. All the instructions are included there on that window. Hold on one second. Let me switch back over to that. Uh, I got so many open windows, y'all. Here we go. So you're going to come over here. Pardon me. Let me boop. You're going to come over here, and it tells you how to install it. The folder should contain those five things, like it did. Um, and it's telling you you need to compile it when you install it, or it will not function. So I'm going to show you how to compile it. Once you uh, have your trading terminal open, and you have your that data folder open. Let me bring it back up for you. Boom. You're going to go ahead and open. You can put those folders side by side, as a matter of fact, if it's helpful. So let me go ahead and grab that. So I'm going to put my position sizer right next to the data folder from my trading terminal. So you can go ahead and click into MQL5, go to experts. And then you're going to drag that folder that says position sizer into here. Now I already have it here, but you would just drag it into some white space and drop it. So once it's in here, you're going to see the folder in there and all of the items are inside of here. So what you're going to do from there, once you download it position side, the, the file from earn Forex, you've opened up this open data folder, you've opened the experts folder in there. You drag position sizer and dropped it into there, zipped version of position sizer and dropped it in there. You're going to come up here to tools. And then once you go to tools, you're going to go to MetaQuotes language editor. Once you go to MetaQuotes language editor, you're going to open up experts because that's where you placed it. And then you're going to go to position sizer right here. You're going to make sure all the files are in there. You're going to click on highlight the folder. You want to right click. And you're going to hit compile and when you hit compile you're going to see this down here at the bottom generating code once it's compiled it should say done no errors no warnings so that now that that's freshly compiled we'll close your terminal out all the way just so it can reset and then open it back up so it's open now so now if i want to install that i'm gonna to go to insert experts and then position sizer. And then you're gonna get a fresh pop-up when you first get here. It's gonna ask, hey, do you want to allow all algorithmic trading? Yes, make sure you click that checkbox. 
And then if you want to, this is the time, or you can do it at a later time as well, flip over to inputs and change some of the appearances of some of these lines. Like personally, I like my stop losses red instead of lime green. So I wanna go ahead and change those colors. Stop loss, make that red. And then TP. this first section is the label. So that's the words associated with it. And these are the actual lines. So I want my TP green and then maybe my stop. So my limit orders, I want those gray, a light gray. And then if you want, if you need to, you can change the width of the line. You can change it from dotted to dash. You can change the aesthetics up in here. So, okay, aside from that, um, the other thing that you, if you needed to change something, there's a line down here that says take profits number. If you needed to add more take profits at a later date, this is where you would do that at. But one is more than fine for me, so I don't need to edit that. So I'm going to hit OK. So here's my calculator now. So this is a moving market. If I wanted to edit this entry. So right now, this is set up for a market execution. Instant means market execution. That means that the market is right where I want it at, and I'm ready to execute a trade based on whatever I put in my stop loss and my TP. So if I wanted to do that, I could. So for example, this is set up longest buy. So if I wanted to buy, I could hypothetically put in a stop loss of say 11,100 and my TP could be like 12,000. There we go. So there you see my, my stop loss. Let me scrunch this up. Stop loss is this red line down here. My TP is here. I come over here to this fifth panel, which is the trading tab and then hit trade. So it's going to populate this order and you're going to confirm everything. I'm over here on my main tab, buying is telling me the position size that I have in based on the risk that I assign. It's telling me my current balance, how much risk is on the table, what my margin is, my entry, my stop loss and take profit. So from there, you're going to hit OK and it enters a trade in for you. As you know, you automatically enter any trade that you're in and draw down because there's a lot of factors that go into a trade, swap fees, commission fees, spread, uh, contract size. There's 10 million things that goes into why your trade automatically opens and draw down. So don't let that phase you. If you wanna hold that by, you can do that. Um, if you want it to enter a pending, then you can switch from instant to pending. And then again, this is where you switch from sell short to long buy and Again, it'll calculate your position size. So now you get to modify your entry, your stop loss, your take profit. If you want to, you can even reduce the amount in your account balance so you're not trading on the full balance, or you can adjust the risk percentage, whether you want a smaller percentage or a larger percentage. It tells you your position size, how much risk is on the table, what you stand to gain. If you want it to put in a pending buy, like I expected to back up some, you can also drag and move these lines. Like if you don't see a little square on the line, it's not movable. But if you double click and a square pops up, then you can move it. So if I say wanted a deeper buy, same uh, and maybe a tighter stop loss, boom. You see how the values change because originally my stop loss was 11,100, but I moved it up. So it adjusted to the current price that I moved it to. And I changed my entry. And let's just adjust the, oops, I actually grabbed my TP line. You see if you grab a live order um, that your profits or your balance will fluctuate. So I'm gonna hit cancel on that. Okay, so let's see if I can yeah, double click. That just sucks sometimes when there is an order sitting there. I'm gonna adjust my TP. There we go, move it a little bit so I can grab it. But yeah, be careful if your line is still sitting on your order and you're trying to enter in multiple orders because that's something that can happen. You could grab an active order. So just be mindful of that. But if I wanted a different TP and I like where everything else is, then now, now trading can be executed from the trading panel. It'll populate it up. It'll tell you the new lot size, how much risk is on the table, your entry, your stop loss, and your take profit. And you confirm it and hit OK. And now I have a pending place down here. 